I'm Jordan Flipovich. I'm Troy Tollinghusen. I'm Joseph Heineke. I'm Carly Amperk. I'm Nick Honer. And I'm Jonathan Sierra. The school levy referendum has not passed for four consecutive years. The lack of funds has had detrimental effects on PHS. Watch as NAG gives personification to the budget cuts. Again, I got this. Okay, so what do you call a cow that doesn't have any more milk? What? A oh, milk dud. <laughs> Don't you just love my jokes? Yes. Uh, what now? We got a problem. Let's do this. Okay. Budget cuts. Candace, you have no place to run and no place to hide. I was hoping you'd say that. Just one left. <laughs> now, Toe, Candace number two. It's my only hope. Wait, now tell. Where is he? It's over. <laughs> Everybody, be nice. Pesky budget cuts, but we are still the school champions despite their efforts to ruin us. How about the USSR? Well, the USSR and the Ducks take the ice to determine who the better team truly is. Let's watch. Yeah, to say anything. All right. I think the ability to, to skate and play hockey, I think, is, is a great thing for our community. Uh, with a lot of people living on lakes and, and people skating and, and doing that as a fun recreational activity in the winter is great. Uh, here at the high school, we have a great uh, agreement with uh, Detroit Lakes High School in which kids can stay here, go to school here at Perm High School, and still skate at a, at a varsity level in, in, uh, in Detroit Lakes. We've had several past students that have actually captained the team over there in Detroit Lakes 
Right now we currently have uh, a couple of young men in, in Hayden and Brandon that are skating over for the high school, for Detroit Lakes High School right now. And then we'll have several that come up the, through the ranks as well. Um, it's also fun to do. It's something that's unique in, in the winter time with, uh, with it being such a unique season and, and getting outside and, and skating is a hard thing to do. It's not like riding a bike. It's much different than that, but it's a, it's a fun thing for them to do in the winter. Great moments are born from great opportunities. That's what we have here tonight, boy. That's what we've earned here tonight. One game. We played them 10 times. They might win nine, but not this game. Yeah. Not tonight. Tonight, we stayed with them. Tonight, we stayed with them and shut them down because we can't. Tonight, we are the greatest hockey team in the world. Yes, it's are. Their time is done. It's over. It's over. I'm sick and tired. Here what a great hockey team the Ducks have. Screw, Screw them. them. This is your time. game of the series, USSR looks for revenge in the second game of the series. How is the shark just meant to today, Carly? Well, this week, the Kaipocalypse reaches the climax as its first season, as its season finale. for you. There are these Kiowas and they're, they're turning people into other Kiowas. Kiowas? I know it sounds weird but you gotta believe me. Oh. I thought I could keep a secret. What? should have kept quiet. You could have gone easily. Now I need to do this the hard way. You're behind this? Oh, come on, McClellan. Kiowa? Intelligent? Athletic? Can you imagine? A school full of perfect students. Why our test scores would skyrocket? You monster. You have to be looking at this in my point of view, McClellan. The world's point of view. What? And you thought I was going to stop at taking the school? Everyone will be a Kiowa, and I'll be the ruler. You can't do this. I understand, but it's the principle of the matter. I am the principle. Well, boys, you know what to do. What's wrong with you all? You miscalculated, Zimmerman. You're no longer crucial to our plan. You fool. I created you. You created a monster.
Well, good thing I have my doors locked. What do you think about the Kaipocalypse, Joe? I don't know, but I knew there was something fishy about Zimmerman. Today, history will be made. No, uh, never mind. Just play the clip by some seniors. Hmm. Wait, wait, you could put that, that there. Okay. But, but, but we want to get it on the double word and triple word. Okay, how about this? That one there, that one there, those three there, and you can match up with what's already there. Non-Euclidean. Submit it. Okay. Yeah. Boom! 162! Woo! Woo! You don't have a chance! No chance. <laughs> hey, do you spell redneck with two words, or is it just one? Oh. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Cat. C-A-T. Eight points. Eight points. Is that good? I don't think so. I hate this no. game! <laughs> right now, can no, no. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> I got you some help. In the events of a tie, you flip a coin. Heads for math, tails for social. You gotta be kidding me. Will it ever end? Well, what do you think, Troy? Probably not. Next, we have the gamers informing us on what it would be like if our teachers were characters straight out of a story. The janitor? I'm on break. Fools! You have no possible idea what power you toy with! Thank you for that bizarre portrayal of a what-if question. How about Mr. Staffy's character? I thought it was beautiful. Well, in their final video, Team No Name investigates the power of the clap. This week on WPHS, we will be showing you how there is no power to the clap. So, John, what, what is the power to the clap? Well, it's when one or more people start clapping, and then if other people start joining in, then it's the power of the clap. 
Oh, okay, okay. So today in history class, I'm gonna see if there's any power to clap. I'm gonna start clapping. Well, that didn't work. Now I will try the hallways. We'll start. Well, that was a fail. Well, since we only had two places, um, how about some bloopers? Okay, so today in history class, I'm gonna see if there is any. Uh, Just fall. Okay. <laughs> we're, we're gonna have to redo that one. Yeah. Well, that was a fail. Papa John. <laughs> And now a word from our sponsor. Chocolate milk, skim milk, and whole milk. Great milks, but uh, no, not acceptable. Prairie schools would like uh, some diversity, and we need strawberry milk in our schools. Um, we're pushing for this hard. We got a lot of people going on our backs, and just please sign the petition in the lunchroom. Paige Jordo, have a great day. I'm Jeff Morris, and I approve this message. Well, I know I'm going to sign that petition. Thank you, Peyton, for informing us on the matter. And thank you for watching this season of WPHS. I'm Forden Jalapovich. I'm Troy Tonyhusen. I'm Ho Janicki. I'm Arlie Comberg. I'm Batman. And I'm Jonathan Jiro. Special thanks to Candace for directing and Ivan for a camera. Nice. All right. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God.